Hello and welcome to a Design R1 training video. Uh, today I'd love to show you how it is that we can convert Salesforce.com backups into ACT databases. Uh, when you leave Salesforce.com they give you a zip file. So I've downloaded a zip file from the demo instance that Salesforce gives you when you have a trial and you can see the complicated file name and if you open up that zip file you'll see here that this particular file has 87 different files in it. There's all these CSV files with contacts and histories and partners and this is this is what Salesforce gives you and they expect you to put Humpty back together again uh, and unfortunately ACT doesn't have a tool out of the box that allows you to do this so Designer One has created a tool and I'd like to show that to you at this time. Uh, if I go over here to ACT I will go to my file menu and choose convert Salesforce database. I'm going to choose that file that I just showed you and it's going to identify uh, all the aspects of change that need to happen to this database. Uh, the database that I've created is a brand new database. I created a single user called admin and I haven't filled out any of the contact details and what our tool is doing right now is it's going to create some company fields then it's going to create the company uh, entities that are things that need to change on the company entity excuse me and uh, we're then going to proceed to import users and contacts notes histories opportunities and all that good information so there isn't a lot of detail in the trial version that Salesforce gives you I think there's maybe 15 or 16 contacts a couple users you know a couple notes a couple opportunities and so what we're doing here is we're taking that file uh, and we're doing this real time and I'm converting it as we speak. So once it gets through creating the new contact fields here, you'll see the progress bar move very quickly uh, and you can see the counters change. Contacts created is now 13, users, groups, notes, so on and so forth. Uh, there aren't any groups in Salesforce per se, uh, but we do have notes, histories, activities, opportunities, contacts, and companies, and we're done. It was just that simple. So if I come over here to my database now and I refresh, go to my view menu, down to refresh, I can see I have a list of my contacts and I can see Mr. Mark Benioff and uh, he's obviously the CEO of Salesforce and he's in the demonstration database. If I come over here to my left hand navigation screen and take a look at my opportunities, I can take a look at this closed one opportunity that we have from Salesforce that has been imported and converted inside of ACT. And uh, you see I have the Salesforce process with their custom stages. I have the products uh, from Salesforce that got brought over, as well as any activities or histories that are associated with this particular Salesforce uh, opportunity is now inside ACT. One quick easy step, all you have to do is browse to that backup file and press start and we handle the rest for you. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments and your feedback. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you go to our website, www.designer1.com or call us at 877-755-9029. We'd love to talk to you. 